Hi everyone, welcome to Rhyme and Story Time. The word of the week is snooping. So, what does snooping mean? Snooping means intentionally seeking out information. Here are some other words for snooping. Spying, hunting, being curious. Snooping's not good, especially when you find out something you're not supposed to know about. Let's read Franklin Snoops and find out what Franklin finds one day when he snoops. Franklin Snoops by Paulette Bourgeois. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He was curious about lots of things and he loved to ask questions. Why does it get dark? He asked his father. How old is Granny? He asked his mother. His parents always answered him as best as they could. Well, one day, Franklin was curious about something that was a secret. Franklin was eating breakfast when Bear's mother came to the door. She whispered something to Franklin's mother and handed her a shopping bag. What's in the bag? asked Franklin. It's a secret, his mother replied. Franklin didn't give up. I can keep a secret, he told his mother again and again. So can I, she replied each time. But later that morning, Franklin found out what he wanted to know. I ran into Bear's mother, he overheard his father saying. She'd like you to wrap Bear's birthday present for her. Aha, cried Franklin. So, that's what's in the bag. Soon, Franklin had another question. Why did Bear's mother give you his birthday present? She was afraid that Bear might snoop, explained Franklin's mother. I'll never snoop, declared Franklin. His mother smiled. Of course not, she said. At lunchtime, Franklin had an idea. Can I wrap Bear's birthday present? He asked. I'm really good at wrapping. His mother laughed. I know you are, but I've already wrapped it. Now you will just be as surprised as Bear. Franklin sighed. He didn't like that answer. In the afternoon, Beaver phoned and asked Franklin to play baseball. He found his bat in the toy box and searched the hall closet for his glove. And there, hidden behind some skis and skates, was a yellow gift bag. Bear's present! He exclaimed. Franklin grabbed the bag. Then he put it down. Maybe I shouldn't snoop, he told himself. Franklin looked at the bag again. A little peek when it hurt, he decided. As long as I don't tell Bear. Franklin pulled out the present. A power pal, he exclaimed. Bear will be so excited. Clint put the gift back in the closet and ran off to play with his friends. At the park, everyone was talking about what to get Bear for his birthday. I know what his mother got him, said Franklin, but I can't tell you. It's a secret. You will have to tell us, said Beaver. That way we won't buy him the same thing. Everyone agreed with Beaver. Franklin thought for a moment. Then he told his friends about the Power Pal. Wow, said Snail, I'll get him the Power Pal submarine. And I'll get him the Power Pal space rider, decided Beaver. We can all get him Power Pal toys, said Rabbit. The next day, Franklin and his mother went to the toy store. They bought Bear a Power Pal turbo car. Those toys are very popular, said the storekeeper. I'm all sold out of Power Pals. Franklin sighed. I sure wish I had a Power Pal, he said. Maybe you'll get one for your birthday, replied his mother. It's just a couple of weeks away. On the day of Bear's party, Franklin wrapped the turbo car all by himself. Then his mother handed him a present wrapped in blue paper. Don't forget the gift from Bear's mother, she said. That isn't Bear's Power Pal, said Franklin. It's a yellow bag in the closet. Franklin! exclaimed his mother. Did you snoop? Oops, Franklin mumbled. Oh, Franklin, said his mother. The Power Pal is your birthday present. I bought it a long time ago. I was afraid there wouldn't be any left. Franklin jumped up and down. Can I have it now? Do I have to wait for my birthday? But Franklin's mother had a question. Did you tell Bear he was getting a Power Pal? Franklin shook his head. I told you, I could keep a secret. I told you. Franklin stopped to think. 
I kept the sticker from Bayor, Franklin finally said. But I told everyone else, that's why we all bought him Power Pal toys. You shouldn't have Snoop, said his mother. I know, Franklin groaned, but everyone will be mad at me. What good are Power Pal toys if Bear isn't getting a Power Pal? Franklin slumped in his chair. What am I going to do? he asked. Franklin was the last to arrive at Bear's birthday party. He joined in the games and they had lots of cake and ice cream. Soon it was time for presents. Bear opened his gifts from Bear and Fox, Snail and Rabbit. These are great, said Bear. Now all I need is a Power Pal. Next, Bear opened his mother's gift. It was a baseball glove. Bear tried it on. Everyone else stared at Franklin. They're still my present, said Franklin. He handed Bear a yellow gift bag. A Pow Pow, exclaimed Bear. It's just what I always wanted. Franklin sighed. Me too. Then Bear leaned over to Franklin. Don't worry, he whispered. My mom bought you a Pow Pow for your birthday. How do you know? Franklin asked. I snooped, answered Bear. Even after being told by his mother not to snoop, Franklin snoops and finds a birthday present that he thought was Bear's. But in the end, it turned out to be Franklin's own birthday present. Have you ever snooped and found something that you weren't supposed to? Remember to check out all of our other stories and songs on our website. Next week is birthday. So we have a book called Franklin Plants a Tree which you can go to our website and watch anytime. If you like to paint but don't like to clean up, I have a mess free painting that we can do. They are a beautiful picture with no mess. Go to our website for more craft videos. Grammar story time is over for today. What could you do instead of snooping? Join me next week when the word of the week is dinosaurs. Thanks for watching. Bye.